She welcomed introductions to New Testament Greek with Moses Ife Adedoyin. Be attentive. Keep following. Don't go away. God bless you. You welcome back. On lesson two, we shall be considering Greek signs. Yeah, we shall be considering the mouse called readings, iota subscript, punctuation, elision, diuresis, and accents. To start with, breedings. On breedings, uh, these signs are just to make up for the letter H which is absent in Greek alphabet. Just as you can see in our previous lesson, why considering the Greek alphabet? Nothing like letter H mentioned. So these signs are seen on every vowel letter that begins a word. The marks could be rough breathing or smooth breathing. And that's to tell you that the marks are of two divisions. We have the rough breathing and the smooth breathing. The rough breathing is written as the opening comma in inverted commas. You can see that on the screen. When we have the rough breathing on a letter, it sounds like letter H. For example, the Greek word, which means holy, is pronounced hagia, with H added to the transliteration. The smooth breathing is written as the closing comma in inverted commas. You can also see that on the screen. This makes the silent letter H the first letter. Alpha. Alpha. When you are transliterating that, you need not to add H. And that's to tell you that unlike rough breathing, smooth breathing doesn't add H. If the initial letter are a diphthong, then the second vowel letter takes the breathing. For example, in the Greek word, eurisco. Eurisco begins with epsilon, epsilon. Epsilon, epsilon are not separate vowel, but they are to be pronounced together. And so they are regarded as an example of diphthong. The word eurisco means means I find. Also, the letter ro, ro, at the beginning of every word takes the rough breathing. The pronunciation will be discussed as we come across these in our next lessons. On iota subscript, iota subscript, this is referred to as a small iota. It is often written beneath or underneath the following letters. Alpha, Eta, Omega, especially when any of these letters ends a word. It should be noted that Iota Sanskrit is not pronounced but must be written. Next on the Greek signs, punctuation. Another significant sign in Greek is the punctuation. Though the earlier manuscripts are said to be without it, but in a way to understand each of the expressions in these manuscripts, the punctuation marks are therefore necessary. So let us consider the Greek punctuation. The comma is same as we have in English. The full stop is also the same with the English full stop. Just the dots, yeah. The semicolon is just like the period, I mean full stop. But when written, it must be above the line. The question mark is equivalent to the English semicolon. Here. Yeah. So whenever you see the Greek expression ending with the English semicolon, that makes the expression a question. Next on Greek signs is elision. Elision. This sign is same as the smooth breathing, but it is used to show that a vowel letter at the end of a word has been dropped as a result of the vowel letter or diphthong before the next word. For example, the word dia 
when followed by a word which begins with a vowel will be written in this form the only with delta and iota you can therefore see that alpha is missing here the sign elision therefore indicates that alpha dropped just because of the initial letter of the next word which happens to be a vowel letter so whenever you have a word ending with a vowel following word also begins with a vowel for the previous the vowel letter would therefore drop and then elision we have to be added the fifth diuresis diuresis this is this sign is placed over the second of the two vowel letters just to indicate that they do not form a diphthong but are to be pronounced separately you can therefore say it is just two dots two dots hmm, which have to be placed over the second of the two vowel letters so whenever you see diuresis on on letters on vowel letters it implies you are to pronounce the vowels the vowels separately not as a diphthong take note and last on greek signs is accents accents are not that significant except on rare occasions when distincts in accents are useful for differentiating varieties of meaning at least an accent such as acute, grave, circumflex, is present in most words in the modern manuscripts. Here is all I have for you on Greek science. Thank you. Thank you for participating in this class. Do you have questions? Then for, drop them at the comment box. Definitely you receive response to them all. Thank you once again. God bless you. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Pyro, Sigma, Tau, Epsilon, Phi, Ki, Si, Omega.